for the two-year-olds. We're out to 1,600 metres now. We've got some future stars of the turf, potentially. Benny Smith, the Newcastle boy. What a win that was. El Dorado dreaming, storming down the outside at $151. Pretty sure it's not going to be that this week. And another roughy in the race, Mike, Jean Dubois. He's got Guerrier involved in the race with Jean Van Overmeer in the saddle. They, the, the punters too, they came for the horse that it beat as well on Wednesday, so potentially another knockout in a Group 1 race. I know you had a bet on the Kensington track on Wednesday and made a few bucks, Stu. Well done for picking up on that form line. Let's see if the Frenchman's horse lines up in this first leg of the quarter, the Group 1 Champagne Stakes, a classic race for the two-year-olds and a real test as well. 1,600 metres at Royal Ramwick is the race set up. We think the conditions could be good. We think the conditions could be soft. We've absolutely got no idea. There's grey skies outside Sydney at the moment. The, the storms are rolling in, so watch out for the weather leading in through Friday and Saturday. We won't be playing track conditions as a key factor through all these four races for that reason. We're not sure. We hope the bias is gonna be fair. The rails out six metres, sometimes they can be near rails, but because they've been using the track recently, hopefully it's fair. Across the three key factors for this first race, you've gotta play scope, two-year-olds on the rise, position and run, it's a reasonable size field. And distance, two-year-olds, 1,600 metres for the first time, the biggest key factor of all. Yeah, that's the one, the distance. Let's have a look at the market now for the first leg of the quaddy. It is the Champagne Stakes, and, well, pretty wide open from the get-go, this quaddy. Not a single cent, $5.50. We've got Seabrook there coming through the size as well. They're equal favourites. Outrageous wasn't far behind, nor was Longleaf. El Dorado dreaming with that storming run down the outside at $9. Not $151 today, it's $9. And then Irukandji with the value form. That's the other form line to weigh up, Mike. But it's the Champagne Stakes, a very wide open market here. Two clear form lines to look at. Seriously wide open. You'll see in the key factors soon the analysis why it's so <laughs> wide open. It's a really open race. Let's have a look at these replays and see how close these horses are together. Starting with what a fantastic win for our mate Benny Smith. <laughs> what a great trainer he is, an up and coming trainer. El Dorado Dreaming ridden quietly this day out the back. She absolutely stormed home to be an unlucky Uhud, but a few other runners in behind you. Yeah, look, there's a few to look at here. We've got outrageous Longleaf encryptions there. Bondi a little bit unlucky on the speed as well, but yeah, what a barnstorming finish, and the crowd was a bit stunned. Yeah, it absolutely looks like she'll love 1,600 metres, won't she? Separate the horse in the pink. Four wide, no cover the whole way from barrier three and keeping on. That's a really good run from him, and not a single cent in the pack held up a few unlucky runs in behind. Well, look, there's pretty much only one other form line, and that's the one we've got to show, and it is the value, Mike. We're going back a few weeks here, and the winner on the day, Eric Kanji, here in the orange, up on pace, but a hard luck story in behind in Arcadian. Yeah, Eric Kanji on pace, bred to stay, stepping up from 1,200 metres to 1,400 metres. What was he, about 11, 12, 13 yeah, bucks? Odds. So the punters didn't really love him this day, but just now you find out how much stamina he's got. He sticks on, fights really hard, and Arcadian back in the red with the blue cap. He's been to Sydney twice and got absolutely the door shut on him twice. Oh, there it is. He doesn't like Sydney so far, but he's going pretty well. Yeah, no, you don't want to have a look at that replay if you backed it that day. But look, the done deal. has got the Masaras happy there with Irukandji. Time for a bet, Mike. We've seen the replays. Now it's time for key factors and all the form. Take us through it as we light up the gold bars for the first leg of the quaddy. Yeah, we didn't mention during the replays that spin was in both races and we did some time analysis as well. And the form ratings are very similar. Wow, look at that page. Apart from El Dorado, we cannot split these horses on form. Oh, well, he's just there out on form, so it's El Dorado dreaming just there. Now, what about scope, Mike? They've all, well, they've all pretty much got it. Yeah, it's a little bit of guesswork, isn't it? You've got to look at confirmation, you've got to look at progression, their stage of preparation, have a bit of a guess of which horses have the most upside. They're the five that we think out of the favourites can improve on Saturday. Well, Dorado dreaming with the neck out there. What about position and run? This has got to be important for the two-year-olds. Yeah, pretty simple one. Not too much tempo in the 1600 metre race. So there's the four horses, including not a single cent, drawn the inside that can get near pace and get a nice cushy run. Well, we've got a few levelling up here. Not a single cent levelling up. Irukandji, Seberate, they're all joining in the fun. What about distance, Mike? Well, it's 1,600. Yeah, once again, there's a little bit of guesswork here <laughs> as well, but punters everywhere in Australia will be trying to guess how these two-year-olds got 1,600 metres. Not a single cent, big striding, tough horse. Should love it. We saw El Dorado, Irukandji we saw as well. Acadian, he's been keeping on really well. We think the 1,600 metres will be good for him as well. Well, they all started on the same form. That's what we know. But look, there's a lot of gold bars down the bottom there, Mike. So it could be a race where there's a lot of value. 
We've got to have a time for a bet here now, Mike. Let's weigh all this up. I mean, we've seen a few of those down the bottom. I know there's some value there, $23. I think Seb eight, there it is. It's all about this great game, isn't it? Up to the mile, which of these two-year-olds can stay? Yes, there's a bit of guesswork, but you've taken a bit of guesswork out here, Mike, because there's a few horses at odds. Yeah, decent odds. And look at the race guide on Friday morning to see which horses you like, which ones profile with the right breeding, confirmation, the right things we talked about before, stage of preparation. But based on the analysis, there's the four that we like. And obviously, there's two that are better odds than the rest. So Irakanji near the pace, bred from Dundeal. He'll be keeping on late. And Sabarate, we think he'll firm on Saturday. A lot of people saw that unlucky run last start. He's a really solid horse. Okay, so it's Irakanji in the first leg of the quaddy there for us as we get to the...